They have proven for three years straight to be lying, deceitful scum. Longtime garbage leftist rag, The Atlantic, has called for us to declare a pandemic or COVID amnesty. In other words, let's not blame each other because it's totally everybody's fault and not just one side's for all of the things that we did that were hurtful during the COVID-19 pandemic, especially when we were in the dark about things. No. No. I do not consent. Never forgive. Never forget. Remember what these people did to you. Remember what has happened from 2020 to 2022. We have suffered under a brutal authoritarian regime that has seen thousands upon thousands of people unnecessarily die, unnecessarily kill themselves out of mental health issues arising from being locked up in their homes, unable to socialize, unable to spend time anywhere, even in parks. People have been chased down at beaches alone, away from other people, surfing with no one else there. No, absolutely not. There will be no amnesty because the problem is this so-called amnesty is really just the people who abused us for two years asking us to not punish them for their bad behavior. In fact, my calculation is off because it's almost the end of 2022, so it's been almost three years of abuse from authority. We saw laws passed, we saw emergency policies passed that forced people to stay in their homes, forced businesses to shut down. Thousands of people have lost their jobs. Tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands, have lost their jobs. Inflation is through the roof due to bad policies that supposedly were going to help us recover from the self-inflicted wound of lockdowns and businesses being forced to close, businesses shuttering permanently, restaurants gone, entire neighborhoods gone, and they want us to forgive them. What did we do to them? We told them that they should be free like we are. So where's the forgiveness? They're going to forgive us for suggesting that they should be free. They're going to forgive us for telling them, but there's science that doesn't match what science you're being told. They're going to forgive us for saying, big tech probably should not be casting out orders from on high that your YouTube channel will be nuked if you question the vaccine if you question masks, if you question lockdown policies, if you question government authority, you will lose your ability to speak on the internet permanently. Oh, but we're supposed to forgive them for that while they're supposed to forgive us. For what? For what? What did we do? What did the side of people who disagreed with all of these bad policies, who called it out, who fired warning shots saying, hey, don't do this. This is bad. You're going to screw over everyone for years. You'll push us into a recession. You'll destroy the economy. And all for something that it's looking like, even early on, is actually not that serious. If you do the math, how many people really were dying early on? If you do the math, if you look at the facts, if you actually look at the science that is available at any given point in time, none of it ever pointed to lockdowns. None of it ever pointed to forced vaccination. None of it pointed towards the draconian policies of far-left lunatics running around becoming little authoritarians, little Hitlers in their own right. So no, there will be no forgiveness. There is no forgiveness for COVID policies. You get no COVID amnesty. You get no pandemic amnesty. What you get is a boot up the ass. And in the most egregious cases, though I do not advocate for actually doing this, philosophically, you deserve a noose around the neck and a missing piece of wood under your feet. For the most egregious offenders only of course. That's it. That's your amnesty. 
get on your knees and beg us to not do something about you, to beg us to not hold you accountable. And that's what this is. But it's not being presented as, oops, <laughs> we fucked up. <laughs> oh God, we fucked up, please help. No. no. It's being presented as, well, <clears throat> I did a few things wrong, and you did a few, quite a few, things wrong, so let's just forgive each other. They're still being duplicitous, lying scum. Do not forgive. Do not forget. You do not give these people any reach. You do not give them one bit of an extra piece of leash to run off with because they will try to take another mile. They have proven for three years straight to be lying, deceitful scum that have only their authoritarian rulers in both big tech and big government to choke you out until you do what they say that you should do. Not because of the fact that it's the right thing to do, but because it's what they are telling you to do. Why would you forgive this? Why would you forget this? Why would you give anybody a free pass on this kind of abusive behavior? This is the stuff that relationships dissolve over. This is the stuff people get nasty, fiery divorces with horrible custody battles over. This kind of bad behavior must be held accountable. Punishment must be dished down from on high as we take over and we look at all of the abuses that have come down and what was hidden from us as we dig up the dirt and realize what's been going on from under our noses that we could smell the entire time but we couldn't actually lay eyes on don't forget don't forgive hold them fully accountable for destroying tens of thousands possibly hundreds of thousands I'd wager millions of American lives for their bad policies, their bad behavior, and their Hitler-like tyranny. I'm Jody Bruch on politics. Please subscribe for more. Have a wonderful day.